<laughs> yeah, welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. You are listening to Ethan Van Skyver. Just a quick video uh, to start off the morning. Reveal Spider-Man's brand new costume. Uh, oh, look, he's going to have a, a silvery gold look, courtesy of writer Nick Spencer. Not so much, but mostly Patrick Gleason, who's a great artist. I love Pat Gleason. He's a good artist, and he's a super guy. So I'm sorry that he had to do this to Spider-Man. Uh, and this is the new Spider-Man look. So, first and foremost, let's talk about what, what superheroes are and how people perceive them. Uh, despite the fact that, uh, yeah, this is Peter Parker under here, I guess, I think it is. Uh, and he's got all the same powers and the same personality. Uh, a superhero's costume is their branding. It's how they are recognizable. Uh, Spider-Man's classic red and blue costume is recognizable all over the world everybody knows that that is spider-man you could go to a village uh in zimbabwe and say who's this and they're gonna say that's spider-man uh, and i'm gonna say that's right that is spider-man and i'm gonna show them this and say who's this and they're gonna say uh, i don't know uh, i don't know and i'm gonna give them a monocle and thank them and send them on their way for their honest opinion this right here is not Spider-Man, but it is a really, really nice costume design. And were Patrick Leeson to just modify a couple of things here, I would say, Pat, save this for yourself. Stop giving away good designs to these big corporations. Keep this kind of a look in your back pocket. And when you're ready to go indie, uh, you come up with a character that uh, looks a little bit like this, and, and you claim him as your own, and you benefit uh, from the... <laughs> from your own work a, a little bit more. Now, why do big companies do this? Big companies like Marvel and DC do this temporarily because they know it annoys people. Uh, this new costume uh, does uh, annoy people. It's not that it's not beautiful. It is, it's beautifully designed. It's just not our Spider-Man, is it? Uh, this is what DC did to Superman in the 1990s as well. Maybe some of you, of you remember like Electric Blue Superman who split off into Red Superman as well. Uh, and that was right after Superman grew a mullet. Uh, and then later on, they changed his look entirely, got rid of his spit curl, took away his underpanted look. People liked his red underpanted look uh, and his red boots and his belt. Uh, they take all of this stuff away. Um, and, you know, sometimes there are copyright trademark issues involved. And that was definitely the case with Superman. Uh, but more than anything else, the reason why they do this is to agitate the readers. Uh, they will tell you uh, directly that, you know, uh, an angry or annoyed readership is a connected readership. They are actually um, reading this out of anger. Uh, and I hate to say that, but I think a lot of people are going to pick this up and go, what? This isn't Spider-Man. Uh, and they're going to read it like that out of anger, but they are going to read it. At least this was the old way of thinking. Uh, and then you know, um, Marvel, uh, Marvel will benefit from the return of the red and blue costume uh, a little bit down the line, the return of the real Spider-Man, and there will be yet another big sales boost. I mean, this is the way uh, it's always worked. Uh, this is the way these people have always thought and, and made their business plans and, and plan their stories uh, to coincide with uh, events. Uh, here we go. Here's Kingpin, and, and I, th I guess this is Norman Osborn. Uh, tearing Spider-Man's mask. Look at how pleased they are over this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there, by the way, uh, remember that speech yesterday that Donny Cates was having Venom make about how, well, I think I'm a good guy, but maybe I'm not the best judge of character. Look in the mirror. If you're making this face while you're destroying something, uh, you might not be uh, the good guy. Well, I guess it depends on what you're destroying, but you might not be the good guy if uh, if this is the uh, look on your face. And by the way, and the and the lighting on your face. If the lighting hits your face in this way, uh, you might not be the good guy. Anyway, this is what they're doing. They're going to uh, annoy people with this uh, for a little while, and then, I don't know, maybe six months down the road, the return of Red and Blue Spider-Man. Uh, let's try it. I mean, sales are in the toilet. Uh, will this still work? Does this gimmick still work in this day and age? Uh... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Let me know what you think of the new Spider-Man costume. Maybe you like his silvery gold look uh, with blue. I mean, to me, it doesn't resemble Spider-Man uh, in any real way except a kind of abstract way. This should be Son of Spider-Man or something like that. Um, and frankly, Spider-Man's costume is so cool. There, there really is no reason to change it at all. Uh, but maybe you disagree. Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe to this channel, please. Ring the bell for notifications, and I'll be back later with yet another, another video. Bye-bye. Hey, I got a P.O. box. 
Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. New from all caps comics, Rainbow, the Brute, the last real man in Fairyland. A tale of prismatic pain, a spectrum of brutality, and a pretty good dad. Choke slam a unicorn by backing it today, only on Indiegogo. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there.